to create this design you need to add a cube and go to the top view scale down this cube in this way apply the scale and then scale it along the y-axis apply the scale go to the red mode add a center loop cut then select these faces use the extrude individual and extrude it like this then select this face and move it along the x-axis in this way then rotate it like this then select everything mesh and symmetry I'll take the symmetry then select this face and delete it select these faces and control x to dissolve them then select these words and press j to connect them then select everything mesh and symmetry I'll take the symmetry then select this edge and move it along the y-axis like this then use the knife tool and create a parallel cut in this way and then create cut along the y-axis like this take the symmetry then dissolve these edges in this way and use the edge slide here then add one loop cut here then s y and give the value 0 and give it right position then select the center edge and move it along the z-axis like this try to create a slope form at there select this edge loop and control b add bevel on it then select this edge loop and control b add bevel on it select this edges and use the set flow on it take the symmetry then select this edge loop and use the set flow on it then select this edge loops and control b add bevel on them add a four segment bevel then add one loop cut here and one loop cut here then select these faces and delete them then add a few loop cuts then select everything and extrude along the normal like this and turn on this offset even then select everything and then press alt n and recalculate the normal then add one loop cut here and add one loop cut here select this edge loop and use the edge slide then select these edge loops and control p add bevel on them add up two segment bevel decrease the selection and press alt s to scale them along the normal turn on this offset a1 then select this edge loops and control b add bevel on them shape factor should be one and add a two segment bevel then dissolve this edges then add a loop cut at the bottom side here then add one loop cut here then add one loop cut here and add one loop cut here then select everything mesh and symmetry rights take the symmetry then hit the control 2 and add the subd modifier and shade smooth it uncheck this option and add one loop cut here then add a loop cut like this and one loop cut like this you can see we are getting this kind of design you can see the form you can see the topology so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel bye bye so next video take care